Good morning students. This is teacher Sonia here. Welcome back to class. I hope you had a lovely weekend. Well, this weekend I decided to visit the city library with my daughter and we picked up this book called Lost in the Woods. A very interesting story by a group of friends who went to the woods and what was supposed to be a day filled with fun, laughter and play turned out to be a magical adventure. But what struck me is that this story is written by a seven-year-old girl named Kashvi. How interesting is that? She must read a lot to be able to write such an amazing book. Students, it is very important to have good communication skills in order to express yourselves verbally or when you speak and in writing. That is, to be able to find the right words when you express your thoughts and feelings. Believe me, you can learn all the theory and words. But if you want to be fluent in English and improve your communication skills, you must practice reading regularly. So today I'm going to teach you some basic English to help you improve your communication skills. I want you to pay attention and listen to me carefully. And if you come across words and expressions that are difficult for you to understand, then look them up in the dictionary. Another thing I want you to do is repeat after me. Repeating is a very good practice. So if you're ready, let's get started. Today I'm going to teach you about nouns. Now you already know nouns are naming words. Names given to people, places, animals and things. You must have played the popular game name, place, animal, things. So let's pick up a few letters of the alphabet and see if we can find words that go with them. Let's start with the letter B. Can you name a person starting with the letter B? Barber. A place starting with the letter B? Beach. An animal starting with the letter B? Bear. And a thing starting with the letter B? Ball. Let's take another letter. How about we take M? Can you name a person starting with the letter M? Mother. A place. Market. An animal. Monkey. And a thing. Mat. Wasn't that fun? Now, what I want you to do is try to find naming words for each letter in the alphabet. Because when you come back, we're going to play this game and see how good you are at naming words. So nouns are naming words. Now I'm going to teach you the different types of nouns. The different types of nouns are common nouns, proper nouns, collective nouns, countable nouns and uncountable nouns. Now you are already familiar with common nouns and proper nouns. So let's take a look at and see what are common nouns. Common nouns are names of everyday things. Common things. That's why they are called common nouns. Now I have a few sentences here and we are going to try and identify the common nouns. Now when you identify common nouns, you have to remember there's a clue question. Is it a name? Because nouns are naming words. So let's read the first sentence. The teacher counted the children in the class. Repeat, the teacher counted the children in the class. Can you identify the common nouns? Now remember the clue question, is it a name? This is not a name. Teacher is a name. Counted is not a name. The is not a name. Children, yes, children is a name. In is not a name. Class is a name of a place. So we have identified three common nouns. Let's go to the next sentence. I went to the beach with my sister. I went to the beach with my sister. Did you identify? Yes, there are two common nouns, beach and sister. There is a fox in a box. There is a fox in a box. The common nouns are fox and box. The boy has a bat and a ball. The boy has a bat and a ball. We have three common nouns here, boy, bat 
and ball. I miss going to school and playing with my friends. I miss going to school and playing with my friends. So we have school and friends. So we have identified names of people, names of places, names of things and names of animals which are all common nouns. Now do not forget when you are identifying common nouns remember the clue question is it a name. Let's go to proper nouns. Now proper nouns again are nouns they are all naming words but you have to remember here that proper nouns always begin with a capital letter. So two clues it has to begin with a capital letter and it has to be a name. So let's read uh, proper nouns again are special names given to everyday things. So let's read the sentences. I love Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter. So we have a name of a person and it also begins with a capital letter. So there you go. We've identified a proper noun. The Taj Mahal is in India. The Taj Mahal is in India. So two clues. Is it a name? And does it begin with a capital letter? Yes. Taj Mahal and India. February has 28 days. February has 28 days. Yes. The month February is a proper noun. Goa has many beautiful beaches. Goa has many beautiful beaches. Yes. We have one proper noun here which is Goa. My dog's name is Rusty. My dog's name is Rusty. So I have a name of a dog. It begins with a capital letter. So it's a proper noun. Now a common mistake children make is they circle I, the, my. Why? Because it also begins with a capital letter. But don't, don't forget what I asked you. The clue question. Is it a name? I, the and my is not a name. So it is not a noun. So don't forget, remember two things. It has to be a name and to identify proper nouns, it has to begin with a capital letter. So let's go to the next type. We have something called collective nouns. What are collective nouns? A set or group of people, animals or things. So it's a name given to a group of people, animals or things. So when people come together, for example, sailors. So the name given is a crew of sailors. When friends come together, a circle of friends and when people come together a crowd of people animals also have group names when elephants come together we call it a herd when whales come together we call it a pod and when birds come together we call it a flock and things also have group names so when trees come together we say a forest stamps is a collection and stars make a galaxy. So let's repeat these collective nouns. A crew of sailors, a circle of friends, a crowd of people, a herd of elephants, a pod of whales, a flock of birds, a forest of trees, a collection of stamps, a galaxy of stars. What I want you to do is find another 10 more collective nouns of people, animals and things. So let's repeat collective nouns is a set or group of people, animals or things. Now here we have countable nouns. Now countable nouns are basically nouns which you can count. Okay. And they have a singular and plural form. What is singular? Singular means one and plural means more than one. So you have teacher. The plural of teacher is teachers. The plural of dog is dogs. The plural of park is parks. The plural of shoe is shoes. The plural of pen is pens. The plural of school is schools. The plural of doctor is doctors. Now over here when you are making singular into plural, you have to remember just to add S, the letter S. If you can see, we have added S everywhere to make it plural. Now there are some nouns where the rules change you have to add different letters at the ending so let's take a look at those nouns again these are countable nouns okay it's a set uh, ha uh, they have a singular and plural form okay but we don't just add s we add other letters to it so now when you have to remember when a singular noun ends with o s ch sh x and z the plural changes instead of Mango, we'll say mangoes, one mango, many mangoes. 
So how do we write mangoes? M A N G O. You write mango and what you'll do is add E S. Similarly, if the noun ends with S, you write dress and you add E S and you get dresses. Beach becomes beaches. So you write beach and you add E S. Brush will become brushes. So you write brush and you add E S. Box will become boxes. So you write box and you add E S. Buzz will become buzzes. You write buzz and you add E S. But remember here, you add E S only if the noun ends with O, S, CH, SH, X, and Z. Now, another rule. When the noun ends with Y, you have to drop the Y and add IES. So baby will become babies. How do I write babies? I write B, A, B, and I will drop the Y and I will add I, E, S. Lady will become ladies. So L, A, D, I will not write the Y, I will write I, E, S. Country will become countries. So C O U N T R I E S and hobby will become hobbies H O B B I E S. So remember you have to drop the Y and add I E S. When you have F and F E you have to drop those letters and add V E S. So now you are adding S you know when to add E S. You know when to add IES and now we are adding VES. So you drop half will become halves. So you write H A L and instead of the F you add VES. Calf will become calves. C A L drop the F and add VES. Knife will become knives. K N I V E S. And thief will become thieves. T H I E V E S. Wife will become wives. So we dropped F and F E and we add, added V E S. Now there are irregular singular and plural nouns where the base noun changes. So the plural of child is not childs, the plural of child is children. The plural of foot is feet. The plural of mouse is mice. The plural of goose is geese. The plural of tooth is teeth. The plural of ox is oxen. The plural of man is men and the plural of woman is women. As you can see in irregular singular and plural noun the base noun changes. So remember do not add s okay the base noun changes child becomes children, foot becomes feet, mouse becomes mice, goose, geese, tooth, teeth, ox, oxen, man, men, woman, women. Okay, so remember these rules again for singular plural nouns, when to add s, when to add es, when to add ies, when to add ves and when the base noun changes. Now let's go to the next type of noun. We have uncountable nouns, just the opposite of countable nouns. Countable nouns have a singular and plural form. Singular is one, plural is many. Uncountable form, uh, uncountable nouns only have one form, they don't have a plural, they have one form. So let's see some uncountable nouns, basically nouns which you cannot count. Butter, sugar, rice, thunder, dust, dirt, flour, salt, grass, cheese, milk, water, air, rain, wood. So these are nouns that cannot be counted and I'm sure you can come up with more names of nouns, uncountable nouns. All right. What happens is sometimes nouns are continuously being repeated. So in order to avoid repetition of nouns, we use something called 
pronouns. So what are pronouns? Pronouns are used in place of a noun. Now let's go through the different types of pronouns. I've written some pronouns over here for you. Okay. We have I, me, mine, he, she, it, there, you. And we have we, us, ours, his, her, hers, its, theirs, they, them, yours. So these are some pronouns which we use in the place of nouns in order to avoid repetition. So let's see if we can identify some pronouns to replace the noun with. Seema carries the new bag to school. So instead of writing Seema, what can I write? Which pronoun? All right, she carries, instead of writing the new bag to school, I can write she carries it to school. The cat saw some mice dash chase dash all around the farm. So let's replace cats and let's replace mice. So instead of writing the cats, we can write they chased. Instead of writing mice, we can write them all around the farm. Jim and I have some marbles. So let's replace Jim and I with a pronoun. We have some marbles. We play with them. every evening. So did you understand how to use pronouns in place of a noun? I'll repeat the sentences. Seema carries the new bag to school. She carries it to school. The cats saw some mice. They chased them all around the farm. Jim and I have some marbles. We play with them every evening. So we have she, it, they, them, we and them which are pronouns used in place of nouns. So why do we use pronouns? To avoid repetition of nouns. And the last type of noun which I want to introduce to you is something called the gender noun. Now gender nouns have a masculine and a feminine. What is masculine? Male or boy. And feminine is female or girl. So let's see some gender nouns. Boy, the feminine of boy is girl. The feminine of father is mother. The feminine of son is daughter. The feminine of God is Goddess. The feminine of King is Queen. The feminine of Drake is Duck. The feminine of Fox is Vixen. The feminine of Bull is Cow. The feminine of Rooster is Hen. And the feminine of Gander is Goose. Now as you can see, gender nouns, even people have gender nouns. Animals also have gender nouns. There are masculine and feminine in people as well as animals. So these are the different type of nouns which I have taught you. Let's repeat from the beginning. There are five types of nouns. We have the common noun, the proper noun, countable noun, uh, sorry collective noun, countable noun and uncountable noun. Common nouns are names given to everyday things. Proper nouns are special names given to everyday things. Collective nouns is a set or group of people, animals and things. Countable nouns have a singular and plural form. Singular is one, plural is many. And uncountable nouns have only one form. They do not have a plural form. When do we use pronouns? Pronouns are used in place of a noun. And gender nouns give us the masculine and feminine. Uh, I know students, it, mu uh, it must be difficult for you to watch these videos, but I do not want you to give up. Please try your best to watch these videos even in parts and I'm sure you will be good in your English. Thank you for listening to me. I hope you enjoy today's class and will continue practicing. Have a nice day. I will see you soon. Till then, be safe.